All right, we want to get back to that breaking news that we've been following out of Cabarrus County right now. One person is dead after being shot during a shootout with deputies. We want to get right out to Queen City News reporter Daniel Pierce, live on Odell School Road. And Daniel, what do we know right now that led up to the shooting? Yeah, right now, uh, I want to set the scene before we get into what happened. Uh, we are currently in the uh, 600 block of Odell School Road. I'm going to move out of the way. I'm going to have my photographer uh, do as best as she can to kind of pan over exactly what we were seeing out here. I count one, two, three, four Cabarrus County or what we assume to be Cabarrus County Sheriff's vehicles just in my line of sight. And it looks as if a lot of this investigation and Chelsea, if you can zoom in to that white truck. That is where I've been on scene for uh, about 10, 15 minutes now, and it seems like that's where a lot of the bulk of the um, evidence collection has been. Here is what we know so far. This right here is what the Cabarrus County Sheriff's Office released to us about an hour ago. They said that just before 5 o'clock, they received a call about a person that had active felony warrants at uh, an address in this area. Now, uh, prior to police showing up here, they said that they had multiple active felony warrants, which include possession of a stolen firearm, larceny of a firearm, felony breaking and entering larceny of a motor vehicle and obtaining property of false pretenses. Officers knew that they were responding to a potentially uh, dangerous situation just given these warrants. And they say that whenever they showed up, the uh, suspect, which we are said uh, has been killed, the suspect allegedly pulled out a firearm and pointed at officers, and that's when officers responded. We're going to uh, stay on scene, do the best that we can to try and figure out more about what's happening. I asked if there was going to be a news conference, but I've been told that this has been turned over to the SBI, which is typical whenever we do see officer-involved shootings. Live in Cabarrus County, Daniel Pierce, Queen City News. All right, Daniel, thank you. And just last week, Concord police officers shot a man at an apartment complex. It happened at Lock Mill Plaza on Church Street at Peachtree Avenue. Authorities say the shooting happened after officers were called to the complex regarding another shooting. They said the suspect, 50-year-old Mark Smith, had already left the scene when officers arrived but shortly returned. When officers found him, they say he had a shotgun and pointed it out at officers. An officer fired his weapon, hitting Smith twice, and Smith is now facing several charges. Thank <laughs> you.